For most men, ejaculation involves spewing their energy and semen out through their genitals. Afterward, they feel they have released stress. The superior man's orgasm more often explodes up his spine and into his brain, from there raining down through his body like an ambrosial bliss of rejuvenation. The technique for converting depletive orgasms into rejuvenative orgasms involves contracting the pelvic floor near the genitals and drawing energy upward along the spine, though the use of breath, feeling, and intention. What is premature ejaculation? Some men ejaculate before entering their woman's vagina. Others ejaculate after 10 minutes of sexual intercourse. What matters is not when you ejaculate, but how deeply you are able to commune in love, with no boundaries, through the form of sexual embrace. If your ejaculation signs the end to your session of loving before both you and your woman have fully opened yourselves, then your ejaculation is premature. If you are like most men, your first sexual experiences as a teenager involve masturbation. Masturbating over and over ends up conditioning your body and nervous system to an habitual sequence, genital stimulation, mental fantasy, building up tension, and ejaculating. Teenage masturbation is essentially an exercise in fantasy, done alone, without much love or even human intimacy. By the time most men are having sex with women, they repeat the same sequence they learned while masturbating. Sex has become a road toward ejaculation, a road paved with internal imagery, self-enclosure, and the desire to release tension. To realize the full potential of sex, you must learn how to recondition your body and nervous system. You must learn how to unhabitualize the mechanics of your ejaculation, and convert your orgasm into a massive profusion of energy which deepens, not ends, the lovemaking session. The first step is undoing the habits you learned while masturbating as a teenager. Instead of tensing your muscles as you become sexually stimulated, learn to relax them. When you notice your face squinching up, relax it. When you notice your breath getting fast and shallow, slow it down and deepen it. When you notice your belly tight and your chest hard, open your belly and soften the area around your heart. The next step is to redirect your attention. Learn to feel your partner more than your own sensations during sex. Rather than curling attention into yourself and feeling the pleasures moving in your own body, feel outward, into, and through your partner. Feel your partner more than you feel yourself. Feel her movement, her moans, and her internal energy. Eventually, with practice, you will be able to feel through your partner, as if your partner's body were a doorway into a vast open space of energy, light, and awareness. This unobstructed feeling is the basis for true lovemaking. Extend your love out beyond yourself and, in time, through and beyond your woman. This takes practice, since there is a strong tendency to focus on your own physical sensations, especially during times of intense sexual stimulation. Counteract this tendency by practicing to feel beyond yourself and through your partner as if there were no obstructions to your loving at all. Besides relaxing and loving into and through your partner, you must become very sensitive to the force of your breath. Breath moves life energy through your body as well as your partner's. If your breathing becomes too shallow, the life force cannot be conducted through your body. Instead, this force builds up, usually in your head or in your genitals. If it builds in your head, you will begin to spend more and more time fantasizing about sex and women. It if builds up in your genitals, you will feel the need to ejaculate, either through sex or masturbation. Therefore, if you have not breathed fully during the day, by the time you approach your sexual partner you will be filled with fantasies and ejaculative urge. So, a large part of avoiding premature ejaculation is to breathe fully, deeply, and with great force, throughout the day. Your inhales should feel like they are drawing energy down the front of your body, filling your belly and genital region. Your exhales should feel like they are moving energy from your pelvic floor, up your spine, into there is a specific exercise you can perform throughout sex and also during the approach to orgasm. By doing this exercise you will convert the direction of the orgasm, so instead of ejaculating out your penis, you will ejaculate up your spine, experiencing intense bodily bliss and emotional openness, far beyond the quick pleasure and depleted peace following an ejaculative orgasm. To practice this exercise, you must learn to consciously contract the muscles of the floor of your pelvis. This area includes your genitals, anus, and perineum, which is the space between your anus and genitals. 
This exercise of contracting your pelvic floor feels a lot like you are trying to stop yourself from going to the bathroom. In addition to contracting the floor of your pelvis, practice pulling it upward into your body and toward your spine. This upward pull will actually lift your scrotum slightly up toward your body. As a single movement, practice contracting and pulling upward the entire floor of your pelvis, including the anus, perineum, and genitals. You can practice this in sets of 15 or 20 contractions, holding them as long as you can. Do several sets like this, three or four times a day. Eventually, you will be able to contract and pull up your pelvic floor easily, holding it for as long as you want. This means you have developed the necessary muscular control. Now you can practice the more subtle work of moving the energy up your spine. At first, it may seem like you are just imagining internal energy moving in your body. But, with practice, you will more easily see or feel this energy moving. After all, it is the same energy that, during intense sexual stimulation, you have no trouble feeling build up in your genital region, which is then released through ejaculation. You can feel it building up like water behind a dam, wanting to burst out. Well, the same energy can burst upward. And when it does, you will experience an orgasm far more pleasurable than the brief burst of a typical genital ejaculation, and also far more healing and enlivening. While you are having sex, but before you are close to ejaculating, practice contracting your pelvic floor as just discussed. While you contract it and pull upward, breathe the energy up your spine. You will have to experiment to determine whether to inhale or to exhale the energy up your spine, although most people find that exhaling up the spine works best. If you combine the upward contraction of your pelvic floor with breathing up your spine, you should lose just a little bit of your erection as well as the need to ejaculate. As you continue making love, repeat this exercise as often as you need to in order to maintain relaxation and openness. Even while practicing this technique, you may notice that you occasionally come very close to having an orgasm. At this point, stop moving, apply the upward contraction of your pelvic floor, and breathe the orgasm energy up your spine. In addition to the upward contraction of your pelvic floor while breathing up the spine, some men find it helpful to clench their fists and teeth while looking upward with their eyes, especially when the urge toward ejaculation is particular. 1. Rather than fantasizing or entertaining inward sexual imagery of any kind, remain totally present, aware of your own body, breath, and mind, and especially attentive to your partner. Break the masturbatory habit of inward fantasy by consciously practicing sex as a relational play of love with your partner. 2. Keep your body and breath relaxed and full. Especially keep the front of your body relaxed, so that your belly is vast and your heart is soft and wide. This will help prevent too much tension from accumulating in any one area. 3. Learn to feel into, and then through, your partner, so that your attention is directed beyond your own sensations, and even beyond your partner's sensations. Practice feeling outward, without limit, as if you were feeling to infinity. In other words, whatever you are feeling, feel it fully, and then feel through and beyond it, so that sex becomes a constant feeling through and beyond every sensation, rather than focusing on any particular sensation. 4. Throughout the day and during the sexual session, practice breathing so that your inhalation moves energy down the front of your body and the exhalation moves energy up your spine. Excessive, chronic thinking or addiction to ejaculation is often a sign that your energy is blocked and you are not yet breathing fully in this circle throughout the day. 5. During sex, occasionally practice the upward contraction of the floor of your pelvis while breathing sexual energy up your spine, so it fills your whole body. Especially as you begin to approach orgasm, you can combine the upward contraction of your pelvic floor with breathing up the spine in order to shoot your orgasm up into your brain, and even out through the top of your head, rather than down and out your genitals. This upward orgasm will then feel like it is gently seeping down through every cell of your body, saturating you with thick open light. These techniques will be less than effective unless you practice love during sex. The natural intelligence of love itself acts to circulate energy in the most healthy way possible. These techniques are mostly exercises to counteract years of poor sexual habits, usually initiated during teenage masturbation. After eliminating the mechanical habit of ejaculation and unobstructing your energy, 
the force of your heart will very naturally guide your orgasm so it explodes upward, throughout the body and brain, before raining down in a profusion of bliss, which not only rejuvenates you, but dissolves your edges like shadows in the sun.